I was outside this afternoon. Didn't want to come inside. It's just too nice yeah. out there. You know, I almost felt like spring out there today. Just <laughs> had a, a different feel to the year. That lower humidity makes such a big difference. What well, we're tracking is clear weather, dry weather for tonight. Comfortably cool as we fall back into the low 60s. Another day of dry weather for Wednesday, especially over the western half of the area. Humidity levels will be a little bit higher east. I'll show you that in a moment, but not anything muggy, that's for sure. Lots of sunshine through the week, and with that, a really nice stretch of weather out ahead of us all the way into the weekend. It's not looking quite as hot on Saturday and Sunday. We were looking about low 90s. Uh, now we're even lower to about 91 Saturday, 92 Sunday. Still heating up and gradually becoming more humid. It will not get as muggy as we just went through. That's the good news. So this is not going to be as intense of a stretch of heat out ahead of us. Honestly, though, in the short term, there's just nothing to complain about. It's a beautiful day out there from our Spring Creek Golf Course, Seneca Cam. Partly cloudy and 84 degrees right now in Topeka and north northeast wind at 7 miles per hour. Made it down to 65 this morning. I think we'll actually be a little bit cooler than that tomorrow morning, expecting some low 60s to start the day. Skies have been mostly clear, a few thin clouds in central and south central Kansas right now, but that is about it when it comes to cloud cover other than a couple of small clouds dotting the sky at this point in time. That should allow us to be mostly clear for tonight. The Perseid Meteor Shower, it's an annual event in August every single year, but it does start tonight and it's a two night event. It peaks tomorrow night. That'll be the better night of viewing and that is the night the Banner Creek Observatory up at Holton will be opening up at 1 a.m. Technically, that is Thursday morning, Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Uh, for some free viewing, of course, they accept donations. But if you want to see a little bit more about this and just uh, how many we're expecting with this particular one, head over to our website at ksnt.com, click on weather, then Matt's blog, and look for the story called Perseids Peak this week. I'll tell you a little bit more about that Perseid meteor shower. 82 at Seneca, 83 at Council Grove and Emporia. A little closer look shows temperatures generally into the low to mid 80s across Shawnee County, up toward Dealey at 86, 83 at San St. Mary's, McLeod sitting at 81 degrees, and we've got 88 at Wamigo. I think that's coming in just a little bit warm where the, uh, the actual temperature is registered in the sun right now. 85 degrees at Clay Center, but lots of low 80s to the north from Hiawatha, 83, Axtell and Marysville, both at 82, and down to the south, low to mid 80s as well. Here's a look at a combination I put on the map here of the wind speeds as well as a look at the humidity, and you'll notice very light winds to tomorrow morning. And overall, while the eastern counties may be a little bit more humid, still comfortably dry and warm across the western counties as temperatures and heat combining or humidity combining together for a heat index tomorrow into the upper 80s and not much higher than that as we head into the daytime on Thursday, upper 80s to near 90. So still comfortable for this time of year. If you've got some mowing to get done, green light it all the way Tuesday, uh, tonight, all the way Wednesday, Thursday as well. So get out there and enjoy this nice uh, set of weather ahead of us while we have it. We don't always get this nice break in August. 87 for Wednesday, 88 on Thursday, and then low 90s into the weekend. Early next week, maybe a few more clouds and a slight chance for a shower or storm later Monday or Tuesday of next week. Beautiful start to the day along the linear trail in Manhattan from Carol Bredesen. Also view from Leonard Cardwell, a little patchy fog in the low spots around Mission Valley. And a beautiful start to the day out on a golf course in Manhattan from Daryl Penland and a nice afternoon near Perry Lake from Dave Edwards. You can see more people out and about. You know, everyone's been hovering right around the air conditioner vent the last several days, now getting a chance to get out and enjoy the beautiful weather. Beautiful start to the day, midday. I have a feeling we'll see some beautiful shots at the end of today. Yeah, we won't have a lot of clouds for a really nice sunset, but you know the weather will be so nice. Everyone's going to be out and enjoying it. Have dinner outside tonight. That's a good idea. Thanks, Matt.